hello guys welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners in this video we will see how we can download and install scene builder on our windows operating system and integrate it with our eclipse ide JavaFX scene builder is a visual layout tool that lets user quickly design JavaFX application user interface so let's see how we can install scene builder on our windows operating system first so open your favorite browser and search for scene builder now oracle somehow decided to no longer provide the build for javafx scene builder tool in other words oracle will no longer provides a build for the scene builder and there is a company called gluon which decided to make the binary and maintain the build for the scene builder okay so we are going to go to uh, this uh, website which is gluon hq which maintains uh, the scene builder build tool okay so just in your search result search for the website called gluon hq.com okay and click this link I will provide the link in the description so that you can directly click on this uh, link and come here on this website and in here you can uh, see there are uh, builds for every operating system for example mac os or linux or windows okay so here we can download this binary file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just install this 64-bit uh, executable file which is this option so just click download and it's going to download the scene builder on our operating system now once this uh, executable is installed you just need to click this executable file and now you just need to click install and it's not a big installation it will be installed immediately and after the installation you will be able to see the scene builder directly launched so this is how your scene builder looks like but still it's not properly installed so what you need to do is you need to close scene builder and there is a particular location where scene builder will be installed so open your folder explorer and in here go to your c folder and in the c folder go to users directory and in the users directory go to your uh, computer name folder for me it's programming knowledge it can be your name or something here and in here go to the folder called app data and in the app data go to the folder called local and in here you will be able to see the scene builder here and inside this you will be able to see scene builder executable file right so what you need to do is you just need to uh, cut this uh, folder from here which is scene builder and then go to your C folder and paste it here itself okay so we know that scene builder is here right so now the location for the scene builder is in your C folder so I will paste the link uh, of uh, this location where scene builder was initially installed so that you won't be confused now once this is done just open your Eclipse IDE and open your project on which you were working for example I'm working on this uh, project and I will create a new fxml file here so right click on your source folder and go to new and in here go to others and in other go to javafx and in the javafx you will be able to see this new fxml document right so you can just click next and give the name to your fxml file so for example i will give it a name main and i will click finish okay and this is how your main.fxml file looks like okay now to configure this scene builder with your eclipse ide what you need to do is go to the windows tab here 
and then go to preferences and in the preferences search for java fx here and select java fx and then you will be able to see the scene builder executable so you need to browse for the scene builder executable so it will be in your c folder because we have pasted this folder in our c folder and select this scene builder.exe from here and click ok right and then click apply and click ok now you can right click on your main.fxml file and then open with scene builder so you can select this option which says open with scene builder and now this file will be opened inside your scene builder right so initially you will see anchor pane on the left hand side here in the hierarchy and this is our root and inside this anchor pane we can drag and drop our controls or container or other widgets okay so for just testing for example we want to uh, add a button here so we can add this button by dragging and dropping into this area here right so drag and drop this button here and after you drag and drop this button what you will uh, see here is there is nothing visible but you will be able to see when you select this area there is a small point here so you need to select this point and make it bigger okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select this button and i can see this button is placed here so i can drag and drop into my anchor pane like this okay so now we have this uh, anchor pane and button here now to add this to the eclipse uh, ide and uh, run it what we can do is first of all we need to save it so go to file and then just click save here okay and it's going to save and now go to eclipse ide and you can see this uh, main.fxml file is edited and i can see this button here right now go to your uh, java file which you have created so this is the java file which we have created in the last video and this was the code we have written so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all this code from here and i will remove this root.children from here also and i'm going to remove this vbox root also right and even i'm going to remove these sizes which i have given here and now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to write this code which is parent which is a class and give the object name root for example which is passed here in the scene and then is equal to fxml loader dot load and inside the bracket write the code get class dot get resource and inside these double quotes we can give the location for our fxml file okay so our fxml file name is main dot fxml so just write that main dot fxml and then you will see here uh, it will show some error because we need to import this uh, parent class and we need to import this fxml loader class right so import both these and the error will go and then save your code and run it once again and now you will be able to see this uh, button in your stage inside the scene right so for example i will close this and once again i will go to uh, my scene builder and i will uh, drag and drop one more button here and for example one more button here and once again i will save my fxml file save it and uh, once again save your uh, file here main.fxml you can see three buttons added to our main.fxml so i will uh, run it once again and now i can see three buttons here right so in this way you can download and install scene builder on our windows operating system and integrate it with eclipse ide i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe 